welcome to Seven Days of Rest and a Return to Essence. And I'm Tammy Hay, and I'm going to lead you through sprouting today. So I'm going to be a raw food chef for this time. And I want to talk about the essence of sprouting. Sprouting is such an economical way to have living food all winter. So as you can see, I'm going to turn my little screen around and I have a little fire going. I'm going to show you there's not much growing that's going on outside right now. I'm in a winter wonderland. So what I get to do is I get to grow inside, which is easy, economical, fun. And the beautiful thing about sprouts is that they're living food until you eat them. So here I soaked some lentils overnight, some organic lentils, and I order my sprouts in Canada from a place called Mums, M-U-M-M-S, a beautiful family-run organic sprouting place. And um, I'm going to show you a little video of my friend Lisa um, demonstrating jar sprouts. And then if we have time later on in our seven days, I'm going to show you her demoing some tray sprouts. So these are lentils soaked overnight. Here I'm soaking some fenugreek and I'm just going to soak it overnight. I'm going to put a little sprouting lid on, but what I also do is I sometimes just buy a roll of screen. I cut little squares when I'm teaching sprouting classes, and I just put a little bit of screen on and put an elastic around. And then I'm just going to drain this. It's fenugreek. I don't know. It's not a very popular sprout, but they're amazing. They're, they're really antibacterial and antifungal, as many sprouts are, but they're also really high in the ability to detoxify the body and so and give us lots of living food in the winter when our enzymes and our ability to produce enough oxygen in a more of an oxygen deprived climate here i have some tray sprouts they're starting to get a little overrun but these are buckwheat sprouts and pea sprouts together in one tray with some soil mm -hmm. It's germinated for a short time, spread on some soil, and kept in a dark place until they started to sprout. And then here we go. This is after eight days of sprouting. So this is living food all winter. When we go to the store and we get our produce from maybe California and Canada, the bioavailability of the nutrients in it are really minimal compared to what we and get in our sprouts, which are living the highest biodynamic available food on the planet, especially this time of year. I'm going to read you a poem and then we're going to go on and watch a video uh, from my friend Lisa at sprouting.com. And then we're going to end with a little video of my granddaughter just chomping away on sprouts. <laughs> she grazes, she grazes on her sprouts. So as we begin this time, I want to invite you all to the nourishment as presence, okay? Nourishment as presence. What would it be like to be fully present in our relationship to nourishment? In full presence, we would strive to nourish ourselves not only with food and water, but love food and pure structure, absorbable water, like we get in sprouts. Do you see your essence in my eyes, in the soil you walk upon? Do you still remember how to walk the beauty way? Do we see earth as reflections of all water and thirst? Can we nourish the space into deep hydration awakening? Can we just breathe together? Our sacrum earthbound, our hearts entangled, kinship dissolving shadow illusion. Can we be seen and not shrink back into something more familiar? distraction and clutter. Can you sit with me? Can we sprout together? Our breath and heartbeats and earth's pulse are only compass. I welcome you today to our day of sprouting and living food as structured, hydrated water to bring our 99.9% .9 of our body molecules back into a hydrated state. So thank you. I hope you enjoy this video, Lisa, and my little grandbaby, and we will return to day two tomorrow. Hi, my name is Lisa, and today in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to grow healthy, fresh sprouts in your own kitchen. You don't need special equipment to grow sprouts. All you need is a regular jar, a piece of netting, Band. And in this video, I'll show you the three simple steps to growing your own sprouts. The first step is to 
your seeds and then you rinse them twice a day and watch them grow. So the first step to growing sprouts in your own kitchen is to soak the seeds. So I'm going to grow broccoli, radish, and a crunchy bean mix. Now for smaller seeds like broccoli, you want to use about a tablespoon or so in a jar. For medium sized seeds, like this radish. I'm going to use a couple tablespoons. And for peas, lentils, chickpeas, or mixes like this crunchy bean mix, I'm going to use about half a cup.
cooking, they're great to toss in the soup, and they're often used in baking as well. Other seeds like broccoli, radish, red clover, alfalfa, take about five days to grow. And then there are other seeds like garlic chives, onions, and dill that take about 10 to 12 days to grow. Don't worry too much about how long a sprout takes to grow or when it's going to be ready. Just try it as it sprouts and use it when you like it. You might notice if you're growing broccoli or um, radish that the roots of these sprouts get tiny little white hairs on them. Don't worry, that's perfectly normal. These kind of sprouts just develop a really extensive root hair system. So if you see that fuzzy white hair, it's nothing to worry about. Now if I'm leaving home for a couple days and I won't be able to rinse my seeds, I just pop some plastic over the mouth of the jar and stick it in the fridge. And when I come back, I just take the plastic off and continue rinsing as normal. And to store your sprouts, just make sure that they're fairly dry and well drained and then pop them in a container seal it and they store in the fridge for up to two weeks i hope you've enjoyed our video on how to grow healthy fresh sprouts in your own kitchen if you have any questions about sprouting please visit our website at www.sprouting.com thanks